I think coin collecting used to be a way to track where you've traveled. You go to Japan, you bring back a coin. You go to Germany, you bring back a coin. Ireland, coin. Australia, coin. And people build these foreign coin collections. And it's amazing, right? It's an amazing way just to see the different designs. But a lot of people now have foreign coin collections. It's just something you're going to collect and you're going to hold on to and you're going to pass on to your next generation. Back in the day when I thought of a coin collection, it's foreign coins, right? Coins that are from around the world, which are just fun to have, but they are really hard to deal with. Like, what do you do with foreign coins? And this collection I mainly bought from a co-worker whose father had passed away. So I went through the, the father's collection and I did the currency conversion and I paid him basically what the value was for these coins. And I really like it. My kids love to flip. But a foreign coin collection that's not silver, I compare to change, right? It's just stuff that's kind of fun to flip through but it's not valuable. It may not be a useful use of your space. And it's a difficult thing, right? Again, you give this to somebody and they really don't know if a Canada dollar is worth anything. We know it has some value, but you gotta go to Canada to spend it. Or you're gonna take it to a place to convert it and you'll probably lose a little bit there. Same with England or UK, the British pounds. Like these are literally pounds right there's a two pound so if i if i'm in britain obviously i can buy stuff with these but here in america they're just for decoration basically but it is kind of fun and again this is what i used to think a coin collector would do again just finding coins from around the world that are interesting germany but it's copper right so it has some numismatic value but to most people in this community and to even me that's not the most desirable coin for me to have